The head of the Israeli Police Intelligence Division, Dror Asarov, has announced his resignation after 35 years of service. This move follows the resignation of Shuki Tahauko, the police commander of the North District. Asarov's departure adds to a significant trend this year, with at least six higher ranking police officers resigning. In a related development, Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant has called for the full use of military force against Palestinian groups in the occupied West. Bank. Gallant emphasized the need to eradicate what he termed as terrorist organizations, comparing the operation to mowing the law. The International Criminal Court is facing mounting pressure and threats related to its investigation into Israel's military actions in Gaza. In an interview with Japan's Yomiuro Shimbun, ICC Chief Prosecutor Karim Khan raised alarms over personal threats and pressure from the US and other entities which he believes could undermine the court's legitimacy and effectiveness. Khan has urged Japan, a major funder of the ICC, to help safeguard the court's operations and principles amid these challenges. UK Prime Minister Keir Starmer has defended his government's decision to partially suspend arms exports to Israel, emphasizing that it was a legal, not a policy decision. This move comes after a review by the Foreign Ministry into Israel's military actions in Gaza against Hamas fighters. Starmer clarified that the suspension of 30 out of 350 arms export licenses does not indicate a shift in the UK's support for Israel's right to self-defense. He reassured lawmakers during the weekly Prime Minister's questions session that the decision was grounded in legal concerns over potential breaches of humanitarian law, and he noted that the UK's allies understand this action. And share that conclusion, the assessment with Parliament. We will, of course, continue to stand by Israel's right to self-defence, but it is important that we are a country committed to the international rule of law. Yeah. That gives us the strength of argument with our allies on important issues. Uh, this is a difficult issue, I recognise that, but it's a legal decision, not a policy decision. And the, the, Prime Minister, the, the Prime Minister knows the framework and they shout, they issued the guidance, they know what the test is, that test has been assessed, we've come to a conclusion and we've put that before the House to consider. On Wednesday, both the government and PTI urged Balochistan National Party Chief Akhtar Mengel to retract his resignation from the National Assembly. Mengel resigned, citing frustration and parliamentary constraints and a lack of action on Balochistan's pressing issues, including security and enforced disappearances. Government officials and PTI leaders visited Mengel to persuade him to stay, highlighting his crucial role in advocating for Balochistan's rights. Despite their appeals, Mengel remained resolute, expressing doubts about the government's commitment to addressing Balochistan's problems. JUIF chief Molana Fazlur Rahman has called on parliament to engage directly with the people of Balochistan and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa to address escalating security issues. Rahman's appeal follows a surge in terrorist attacks, with August witnessing a sharp increase. In this بڑی خود اعتمادی کے ساتھ ہمیں قدم اٹھانا چاہیے حکومت کو بھی اپنی ذمہ داری پوری کرنی چاہیے ہم لڑیں گے اختلاف رائے کریں گے تنقید کریں گے اپوزیشن میں بیٹھے ہیں تو اپوزیشن کا کردار ادا کریں گے لیکن اگر ملک کو ہماری ضرورت پڑتی ہے تو اپنے وطن عزیز کی چپے چپے کے لیے ہماری خدمات حاضر ہیں تو اس سارے صورتحال میں ہمارا کردار کیا ہو سکتا ہے میں اب بھی یقین رکھتا ہوں کہ اگر پارلیمنٹ سے درخواست کی جائے کہ وہ آگے بڑھے بلوچستان میں جا کر بات کریں لوگوں کے ساتھ گفتگو کریں کے پی میں آئیں وہاں کے لوگوں سے بات چیت کریں گفتگو کریں تو صورتحال کو دوبارہ واپس اپنے حالت پر لائے جا سکتا ہے Meanwhile, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa Chief Minister Ali Amin Gandapur is facing legal trouble as an Islamabad court issued a non-bailable arrest warrant against him. The warrant stems from a 2016 case involving allegations of carrying unlicensed weapons and alcohol. Despite Gandapur's legal team citing health issues as reasons for his absence, the court has ordered his arrest to ensure his appearance.